Good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to be here with DN. I'm Rana Rizky Taruna Sakti. Welcome back, Vitalia. We are Yacht of the Nation. Okay. Well, today we will discussing another topic that very interesting to discuss. Of course, about online learning. Yes, the I'm talking in Zalia this time is how students think about online learning. With three speakers that we share their opinion, their experience, and their feeling in online learning. So, if you want to know about each other, come on watching until the end of this talk show. All right? Okay. Without any words, okay, and please welcome our first speaker, Reva. Hello, Reva. Can you introduce yourself to young people in here? Well, thank you, Lana. Hi, young people. My name is Reva. I'm a student majoring in Communication Science University of Yenuswantoro, Semarang. All right, Reva. You ask the student, what do you think about online learning? Mm, from my opinion, online learning doesn't seem very effective. Uh, by the way, for your information, guys, I'm actually a 2018 class student, so I entered a college as a new student before the COVID pandemic started. In 2012, there is, in 2018, I'm sorry, there was no COVID pandemic. So as a new student, of course, I carried out all lecture activities normally as usual. Different from now that it requires to do online learning. So yes, of course, there is a significant difference between online and offline learning. Okay, the next question. What is the difference between offline and online learning? Uh, can I tell you a little story? Yes, sure, of course. So the beginning of the creation of online learning was when I started entering the early third semester and college that all students uh, and college announcing that all students have two weeks to take a break. So sounds great, right? And that beautiful dream finally became a nightmare when we all had to do online learning for an undetermined time even now. And uh, what makes it different from online learning is the learning method that requires us to work on assignment with group, for example. But we don't even know and have never met our classmate. In online learning, we only join a Google Meet, then turn off the cam and mute the mic while listening to the lecture in class. And but. Uh, we don't, uh, we feel embraced to us because we feel foreign in class. That would make us less interactive with lecture and other friends. And of course, the different vibes that we feel when online and offline learning. Okay. Who are the vibes feeling? Is it different? Mm. Of course, more to, more to learning method and interactive process. If offline learning, we really feel like students. We go to campus, meet a real friends, and lecture who teach in front of the class. Trust me, guys, uh, as good and comfortable as online learning is, we have to feel offline learning where you live a real life, a real learning life. Nice. What do you want to tell the young people in here about online learning? Um, I know it must be hard going through online learning, but you have to keep fighting and don't give up. You can do it. Take the positive side of online of online learning. You will have more time and uh, to to do a new thing. What you want to try practice our multitasking skill, which are needed for some time. And of course, as a way so that you don't get off of debt and stay up to date in any condition. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Reva. And that is what our first speaker opinion about online learning. And now let's move to another one. We will listen to her opinion about online learning. Please come, April. Hello. 
Hello, April. Can you introduce yourself for young people in here? Okay, first, hello, young people. My name is April, and now I'm in my third semester. I'm a student of communication science in Yen Sondoro University. Uh, okay, April. Uh, we have little some of our opinion here about online learning, and now we want to know from you. What do you okay. think about online learning? Okay, first of all, pandemic definitely changed our habit in learning with online, which is before this, we are with offline learning at the classroom, but now we move to online learning. For me, online learning is about progress of education method, especially in Indonesia. Like before this, I thought that online learning will be difficult and will be a lot of terrible, of course, because I never do this online before, but it's totally turned out. Now I realized that, that online learning, it's not like what I thought it was, that in fact, online learning gave me a lot of convenience, gave me a lot of easiness that totally different than before when I was in my offline class. Hmm. Okay, so what the difference between online and offline learning from you? Okay, of course, with the transformation, there will be a difference too. Between online and offline learning, there is a lot of difference. For example, when I was studying offline, I need to present myself at the classroom physically. But when I do my online learning, I can be anywhere, I can be any place I am. And of course, I can keep studying and do my lecture like that. Also, as long as I have a connection and laptop with me, I can keep work my assignment, no matter how is it, no matter where I am, no matter when is it, I can do my lecture easily. It's mean like, online learning more flexible than offline for me. And then I can do my lecture with my own pace. I can do my lecture with my own time, with my own method, as long as I comfort for learning. And because of all of the reason, online learning brings more easiness for people, for students like me, who haven't too much time for learning actually. And then what is surprise from this online learning that Online learning pushed me from my comfort zone. It's been like online learning definitely speed up my learning process with all of the convenience. And I need to explore a lot of learning process. And that is the new thing that I never do before. And which is, I realized that it's so fun for me and I will make me, and that is make me happy to serve it well. Okay, now I want to know what one do you prefer between offline and learning online? Okay, um, like this, with all of the convenience and with uh, what I feel right now, for now, of course, I prefer to do my online learning because it's more effective and it's more easiness for me. For, for me personally, online learning a lot of advantage than the disadvantage. So with all of the reason I said, I prefer to do my online for right now. Even maybe I think that this learning method, this online learning can be employed for learning education in Indonesia for the future. And I'm sure it can be a solution for an education problem in Indonesia like that. Uh, and one last question. What do you want to tell you to young people in here about our learning? Okay, all right. Um, like what I told you guys, online learning is a good way for learning method. There is a lot of easiness that you can get for it. In fact, the online learning push me to more creative with all of the convenience and the easiness. A number of uh, a number of easiness like first, um, we can do our lecture flexibility, guys. I mean, as long as we have a connection, then we can learn anytime, we can learn any place, the material, the lecture easily. And then second, we can learn all the lecture by, my, by our own pace, by uh, our time, and we can do an assignment, learning material, discussion, uh, discussion with another friend without a clear lead time. That's super helpful for us. And the third thing, 
we can still have a professional connection with our teacher, with our professor, with our lecturer that um, they are very kind to respond all of the problem from online student. I think this is one of most important thing that we need to have a good connection with our lecturer, even in online learning. And the next thing is sometimes if I turn back in my old story when I was in my offline learning at the classroom, I feel like even the we offline brings more difficulty. For example, like we need to write notes the material done right, and sometimes we feel confused when the professor talk to the first, not again if any friends ask me some question, it can distract me from the lecture. And all of the things not happen in my online learning. I can do my lecture by my own pace, by my own way, by my own method, as long as I comfort like that. And the last but not least, again, I say that it's not about who better between online and offline learning. It's more like, how we want to see the advantage of the convenience of each other. If we can see the positive thing from both of them, then we can get the positive thing. In reserve, if we focus with the weakness of each other, we will just get the negative things. So we need to see all of the things by the positive side. So let's, as a young people, as a student, we need to show our good manner and inviting our friend, inviting our society to focus with positive thing in every condition we are and not just judge the situation wherever it is. Thank you. Mm, wow. Okay, thank you, April. Thank you for your opinion. It's open our mind about all learning. And now we have another one, the last speaker of our period this day. Please welcome Bido. Hey, Bido. Hello, Lana. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Bido, we have listened opinion about online learning from Reva and April. And both of them have their its opinion that we can say totally different. And now we want to know about you. What do you think about online learning? In my opinion, online learning is almost the same as face-to-face -face learning, only the underlying difference is the in the heart how to do it. If face-to-face -face learning is carried out in offline class, then online learning is carried out in application that is play fast online. Can you please explain the advantages and disadvantages that are in that? Online and face-to-face -face learning are the same two things that can be done, but both have their own advantage and disadvantage, such as face-to-face -face learning, which according to Reva is more effective because of direct interaction with teacher, lecturer, or friends. Well, online learning, which according to April is more flexible in terms of time, because it is done online, the drawback that I get are about obstacles. Face to face learning has the potential to have problems on the road when going to school, such as flat tires, etc. Meanwhile, online learning has the potential for unstable network and signal, which can reduce effectiveness in attending class. Yeah. Next question What the preference between offline on and online? For myself, I prefer both because I can do both. Face-to-face -face learning may be acceptable for all students as well as students who are caught as really want to go to school, aka ambitious, and have a lot of time in working hours. Well, this may not be acceptable for students or students who have activity in brackets, whether in its work, come away from school, and or he really likes online learning. Then what do you want to tell the young people in here about online learning? Even though we are doing online lesson with the threat of not being able to understand the material, not being able to socialize directly, and the many obstacles we are going through. Of course, we must continue to be productive because the sign of life is a positive movement. Okay. 
that is sharing time in daily youth or today about how students think about online learning. And the conclusion that we can get from today is whether online or online learning method is back to our point of view. Online learning or offline learning has their its advantages and disadvantages depending from how we look both of them. If we look at the positive way, we will get positive value of the but otherwise if we look the negative way we will get the negative value too so for all of you guys especially young people let's make positive end in education system in indonesia and the end of word we say thank you for you guys and thank you see you thank you for having me guys thank you thank Goodbye. you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.